So today what we're going to be looking at is a, a comparison of uh, the packet managers in Linux, APT and DNF. I wanted to go back to the beginning, um, revisit some of the more introductory stuff, uh, and hopefully by focusing on package managers, help uh, others get started with uh, using Linux um, and open source tooling in uh, a more productive way and uh, sort of get over uh, what could be potential fears of just opening terminal and uh, running commands. Um, we're going to look at APT, which works with Debian, Ubuntu, and a bunch of others, uh, and also DNF. DNF works with uh, Red Hat and Fedora and all the derivatives. So what we're going to first do is look at some of the differences. So we're looking at apt or apt um, works and also how dnf works so on the left hand side there's apt on the right hand side there's dnf what we're going to do quick right now is uh, an update so sudo dnf update um, we're also going to do an apt uh, update uh, one thing that's not really shown um, uh, because I, I missed it when i was doing the initial recording is APT update, what it does is kind of refreshes, whereas DNF update can do refresh plus upgrade like in one command. Um, the next command is we're just gonna do a search. So you can actually search for packages uh, with both of these. Um, so first we're starting off a search uh, for looking for bpytop, and we're also doing a search with apt for bpytop. Uh, APT comes up a lot quicker. Uh, again, it's because DNF, every time you call it, it does an update, so it's like updating its service again. Uh, the other possible reason is the Fedora image that I'm using on the right-hand side, which is where we're running DNF. Um, it's actually a virtual machine with a very limited amount of resources versus the host device, which is my Pop! OS device on the left-hand side. So now we can see that we found the bpytop, which is like a system monitoring package of both. So if we're using apt, uh, which works with all the Debian, Ubuntu, Pop! OS, all this stuff, we can just install. Then it's installing, and then we do the same thing, but we're using DNF, so sudo dnf install bpytop, commands essentially the same. Uh, you're just calling different package managers. Um, slight typo, redo. Yes, okay. And then we install bpytop, call bpytop. It needs a larger window, so give it that. And you can see this is what bpytop looks like. So you can see all the system resources. Um, and then same thing for apt or our uh, pop os install i just run b by top and it pops up a lot more system resources to call in this instance than the virtual machine running fedora which might possibly explain some of the lag um, clicking q on both uh, closes b by top then we can also show uh, a remove of b by top uh, again better to type correctly, but do sudo app remove, you can remove it. Uh, we can do sudo dnf remove, we can also remove it. Uh, one thing you'll see here is that it also removes dependencies, so it gets rid of some other stuff, um, which explains some of the difference in the size difference. So on the dnf, it uh, freed 1.8 megabytes of space, whereas with apt, it only removed uh, 200 some odd kilobytes. Then what we can do is we can also uh, find packages. We can do apt list installed. You can see all the packages um, on the system. DNF also has the same command. So DNF list installed, same deal. And then we can also pipe in grep. So if you do that uh, vertical column, this pipe, which is above the enter key on most keywords, uh, type grep, which is like a search key, 
and we can search for a specific package. Uh, and this works the same on both. Yep. And then we can run NeoFetch so we can see the sources uh, and we can see that they're vastly different between the two. But again, behave roughly the same. Yeah, this is the first of a series of package managers. And uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thank you very much.